Why do you see plastic used underneath concrete slabs? <laughs> well, plastic is used underneath the concrete slabs simply as a measure to control the amount of moisture that's available from the ground surrounding the concrete to the slab itself. If you didn't have any sort of measure to protect the amount of moisture there, the concrete is going to act like a sponge and it's going to wick moisture from the environment and that's going to cause a host of problems. For one, you could have minerals leaching through the concrete slab and that's going to cause problems like efflorescence growth inside, which is like a a crystal-like growth, which is hard to get rid of, and you don't want to have that for sure. In addition to the efflorescence growth, you could have all kinds of staining issues or just moisture control problems where you have constant dampness in this slab. And if it's in an indoor area, that would be a terrible thing for sure. If your concrete slab is exposed to excessive amounts of water, that moisture is going to erode the concrete in two ways. One, it's going to directly erode it. The water passing through the concrete will dissolve a small amount of the cement component that the concrete's made from, and that cement will leave along with the passing water. And over time, this can take enough of that cement component away that all that you're left with are the aggregates, just sandy, gravel, very weak. And you definitely don't want that. And water is what does that directly. Sure, it takes a lot of water and it takes a long time, but you want to consider these things when you're pouring something that can have a service life of 25 years, 50 years, 100 years if you take care of it properly. If you have steel within the concrete and you have and you're exposing it to an excessive amount of water because there's no vapor barrier or moisture control, that steel can and will corrode prematurely. It'll fail prematurely, and now you don't have any tensile support or less tensile support in this concrete slab. And concrete, while very strong for compressive strength, is very low for tensile strength, and that's why we put the steel there, and that's why you need it to last, and you should protect the steel with a vapor barrier so you don't expose it to excessive amounts of moisture. Every concrete slab would benefit from having moisture control via a vapor barrier. And the reason why you might not see it all of the time is simply because there's many outdoor applications, you know, versus indoor where you would notice it more readily with uh, humidity control and moisture control problems and probably mold growth ultimately. Outdoors, you might not notice it because that concrete slab is going to last 30 years instead of 50 years or 100 years that it could have lasted if you had employed some sort of moisture control. Polyethylene sheeting, poly sheets or polyplastic as I commonly refer to it as, and primarily is the way that this has been done. And it used to be done with six mil thickness and commonly accepted these days as 10 mil thickness is the minimum amount needed for a vapor barrier underneath of a concrete slab. I hope you found this information helpful.